Hello folks, Andrew from Yell Head Games here. Today we're going to do this. I asked to apologize a little bit my voice, but it's rough because I have COVID, so I can't access to better stuff. Okay, we're going to make this text flash. Now, the very first line is flashing, turning on and off. And the other ones are fading, so it really depends on you what you want to do, but you're, we're going to have this kind of retro game style, you know, insert coin type. Now we're on the editor. Now, I'm using a rich text level, but this can be extended to every node you want. Just copy and paste the code. It will work, because it uses the visibility property, so that's good. While the fading, we're going to modulate the alpha channel, so that's fine. Every node has that. Okay, to make this work, we need some text. So basically, I'm going to put a node and a rich text level here. And after that, I'm going to give some theme, uh, some font, because the text is pretty small. So in order to make it more visible and pleasant to the eyes, I'm going to use some dynamic fonts. Okay, we're good to go. Now, the first thing you need is a JD script, so give it a JD script. Okay, inside here we need a few variables to be exported in order to make things tweak out of the JD script itself, so we can access directly from the editor. So, I'm going to export a few of them. The first value I'm going to export is an integer and it's speed and it's going to be 5 by default. The other one is fade and it's going to be a boob. So if we check this, we're going to have a fading instead of, you know, turn on, turn off, the, the typical flashing thing. It's going to be false by default. Okay, now I'm going to export a few other variables. Um, we need time. And time is really strange here because we don't have a timer, so we're going to use delta because delta is the time between frames, so it's going to work fine. And another one is uh, same time, and it's going to be zero as well as the time. And we need a variable that is visible and it's going to be true by default. This is going to be used for the visible uh, specifically and it's going to set the visibility. Okay, it's time to create a function. Function flash my text. This function is going to be called every time, every single frame. It's going to be called inside the delta function. It's inside this function that we're going to check everything and we're going to make the magic happen. First thing we're going to use if it's not fading. So basically if fade is negative. If fade is true, so it's checked, we're going to set the visibility true and we're going to um, make our modulation equals to our scene time. And that's going to make sense soon as I, I'm going to explain what scene time is going to be. Inside of if ne uh, fade is negative, we're going to check another if, if scene time is greater than zero. And in this case, we're going to make the visibility true. And if the scene time is lower than zero, so else, we're going to set the visibility false. Now, we're quite there, but we still need a delta function, so I'm going to put it here. And like I previously said, we're going to use the delta like a timer. So basically, we're going to summing to time each, each frame the delta um, value. And that will work as a timer because it's going to give us a really precise timer. Um, you can understand that, I think. Okay, I'm not going to explain you some math, but you can give a look by yourself to sine and cosine. It works this way. Given a given number, this function here is going to give us um, a value between minus one and one. That's kind of our false and true, you know, and that's why we're using that. And that's pretty good for um, the alpha value as well. So our scene time is going to be scene of time multiplied by speed. And we should be there. But if we try this, it's not going to work because we still need to, to, to make it work better way. So I'm calling flash my text and I'll try it to, to show you. Nothing happens, but really it's happening. The fade is happening, but it's not shown. If I check fade, it should be fading. 
as you can see like that yeah it's working it's working we're there we're nearly there okay probably some of you already got this but you need to go under flash my text and put visible equals to visible <laughs> our value <laughs> the one with the underscore now it should be good to work and it's working actually that's cool look at this pam 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 okay guys thank you for following uh, for watching hopefully you're doing good to stay safe and sound because i have covid <laughs> now before we say bye i'm going to say you that i'm creating a pack of scripts and things and tools and add-ons that i use I'm creating them for my personal use and to make everything easier for me because, you know, you don't need to code every time the, the wheel, like, like they say it. So a GitHub link is going to be down below, so you can download this script as well. It's going to be the Android Devs pack. Hopefully this helped. Leave a like, subscribe, share this with your friends, leave a comment if you want to know more of this little stuff and more important, Keep devin' games! <laughs>